Calcium release activated calcium channels, or crack channels, which are located in the plasma membrane, play an important role in T cell proliferation and gene expression. Stimulation of T cell receptors with an antigen results in formation of the second messenger inositol triphosphate and activation of calcium release from the store via inositol triphosphate receptors. Reduction in calcium concentration within the store leads to activation of crack channels and consequent increase in the cytosol calcium concentration. Abnormalities in crack channel function in T cells are linked to a number of human diseases including severe combined immunodeficiency disorders and autoimmune diseases. Here, a method is presented that allows for reliable and reproducible recording of endogenous calcium and sodium crack channel currents from human T cells. First, thapsogargan, a blocker of sarcoendoplasmic reticulum calcium ATPase, is applied in calcium-free extracellular solution containing 3 millimolar magnesium to deplete the store. This procedure opens crack channels but does not induce crack current because of the poor permeability of crack channels to magnesium. A whole cell voltage clamp is then established on a T-cell membrane. The cell is perfused with a pipette solution containing a high concentration of the calcium chelator, BAPTA. Calcium-containing or divalent cation-free extracellular solutions are then applied sequentially to activate measurable calcium and sodium currents via crack channels. The resulting data demonstrate the level of functional expression of crack channels in resting human T-cells. Investigation of membrane currents via crack channels may provide valuable information on crack channel regulation and functions and establish the role of crack channels in normal immune responses and immunological diseases. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle due to the small size of human T lymphocytes and low amplitude of...